This wooded area near Atlanta has become a key focus for protesters. This is the proposed site for a $90 million Atlanta public safety training facility. The city of Atlanta says it is essential to build a modern police and fire training center that would improve training, lift morale and help recruit officers. The protesters disagree. They have dubbed it Cop City. Maria Parker is a community organizer. She is concerned the facility will further militarize police officers. The area surrounding this, um, this, this, this river in the middle of this forest, it's like 70 percent black, 70 percent people of color. You're dealing with the fact that this facility is going to have firing ranges. So you're talking about people are going to hear gunshots being practiced just yards, you know, meters away from where they live. In January, the protest became deadly. Police officers attempted to expel demonstrators from the woods. One protester, Manuel Pais Taran, was killed. An autopsy report says he died from at least 57 gunshot wounds. Police say Taran fired first, but that's disputed by his family. His mother, Balkis, is determined to continue the fight. I think this was a crime against humanity. The only thing that I want is to help the community as much as I can because that is his legacy. Many of the protesters are concerned about the potential environmental impact. This spot on South River is some five miles away from where the Atlanta Public Safety Center is set to be located. And local environmentalists are concerned about the center's potential impact on this stretch of wilderness. Blue herons, green herons, wood ducks. Jacqueline Eccles is the board president of the South River's Watershed Alliance. Healthy headwaters are critical. If we can't stop this kind of destruction, it's going to totally uh, pretty much destroy the South River. City officials say the new centre is needed to replace inadequate training facilities in place now. It will be used by fire, emergency medical services, as well as the police and neighbourhood watch academies. The proposal includes classrooms, a shooting range and a mock city. Officials say that any trees cut down will be replaced by new ones. They also say some of the protesters have crossed a line from civil disobedience into domestic terrorism. But not everyone is convinced. These students at Emory University have added their voices to the protest. The Reverend Kiana Jones was one of the speakers. And this is why I know that we'll stop Cop City. These students are the future of this country and these students who are willing to take a stand aren't willing to back down and neither am I. The clear cutting of trees at the site has already begun, but construction of the facility is yet to start. An opposition to the centre shows no sign of waning. Dan Williams, CGTN, Atlanta.